Hey again. So in this part of the video, we are going to talk about the attributes and how we can select and unselect them inside Wisdom. So here I have already opened the same windows, the same version file that was that we opened in the first part. And as you can see, we will start with the procedure sequences. I will just drag it a little bit up. So here we can activate or unactivate any of the procedure sequence from this window. Uh, after activating the procedure sequences, what we are actually doing here is we are doing the private transport assignment, public transport assignment. And the private transport assignment is equilibrium assignment, while the public transport assignment is timetable based. And before doing these assignments, we are deleting any prior assignment results that might be saved inside the WISM version. Okay, so I'm going to run these and uh, we have these calculated, but we don't see any difference in the uh, network editor, right? So for this, I have already prepared some of the graphic parameters and using this Windows drop-down menu, we can see we have three graphic parameter options here. I will choose the first one, which is 01 assignment. And after I have chosen that, we can already see that now we have some bars which are showing up on our links. We can zoom in and out of the uh, network editor using our mouse wheel, which is very convenient. We can also pan through our network using this pan button right here, which is which gives us a freedom to inspect or go into detail of any part of the network. But we can also do the same using our mouse. We just need to click it and it will do the same. All right. So I will just zoom into the city center, I believe. And here I will uh, go in. I want to because inspect the links. So first we need to be sure that inside our network object window here, links is selected. And we also have to be sure that we are in the edit mode. So this is the edit mode. This is the insert mode. If we want to create a new link, then we go into the insert mode. But when we are only inspecting the already created links, then we are in the edit mode. So we are in the edit mode here, and we have already selected links from our network object window. Good. Now we can go in and we can select any of the links. So for example, I'm interested in this link here. And I can double click it and I will see this edit link option, uh, this window pop up. In this window, I will see the attributes of the link. So starting from the number, which is the link number, then uh, it also tells me from which node number to which node number this link is directed. I can also see the type of the link from this uh, window. So this, uh, this is the type. Then we also see the transport systems which are allowed on this link, right? If we want to change this transport systems, we can open it and we can select or unselect any of the systems which are already preserved inside our model. In this case, I'm going to keep it the same. We can see the length of the link. We can also see the uh, free flow speed, the capacity, the total number of lanes. Now, you, you will have noticed that some of the uh, options here, they have been highlighted in a yellow color. And that is because these attributes, they are different for this direction and for the opposite direction. So keep in mind, whenever we are selecting a link, we are also selecting the opposite direction of the link. And to go there, I will just uh, select this button. I will click on this button here, which is called op opposite, and I will switch in between these two directions. And if you might have noticed that everything else remains the same, but the number of lanes and the capacity changes in these two directions. And that is the reason why we see these two attributes in yellow while the other, all others are, are not highlighted. Okay, uh, if we want to change anything, we can change it here. But in, for the sake of example right now, I'm going to keep everything the same. We are just going to click on okay, and we are back on our network editor view and the uh, procedure sequence view. In the first part, we also uh, looked at the list view of the links. So I'm going to open it again. This is, uh, this is open in the bottom bar already. So I'm just going to click it and I can see the list view here. For me, it's more convenient if I put it here. So I will just, I can compare them side by side. 
And I, as I mentioned previously as well, that both of these windows, they are synchronized. So if I click on one link here, this will also be selected on the network editor and vice versa. So if I click on one link here, I will be directed to the link where it, where it is on the list. All right, the list view is very useful because we can use it to display any of the attributes that we are particularly interested in. And that can be done using this select attributes button on the top bar. So I will go to this and I will have this select attributes windows open. In this list, we can select or unselect any of the attributes that we want to see in our view. So for example, I'm not interested in the from node number and the to node number. So I will just remove them from this view. Uh, and in the same way, I can also add, let's say I want to add the length direct. I can also add this attribute here. I can select where I want to add this attribute on the top or the bottom. And I can, the, uh, the small ticks that we can see, these show that these attributes are already a part of the list. So it's very convenient. We can, for example, I can use this noise attribute. I can add it here. Uh, if there is a user defined attribute that I have defined myself and I want to see that for these lists, I can also do that. Uh, in this uh, bar here, in this window, using this window, we can also use this um, small icon, which is called the create user defined attribute. So for example, if I click on this icon, I will see this new window dialog box opened again, which will ask me about the name, the code, the attribute ID. So this is a way of creating new attributes for any of the network objects that we are interested in. We can also uh, specify the data type. We can also specify the attribute type if, we, if it is a data attribute or if it is a formal attribute. So this can be done using this button, but I'm not going to go into creation of the new user defined attributes yet. So I will cancel this and I will also cancel this window. Okay, all right. So now uh, if we want to go into the list mode of any of the network objects that can be done from the top bar here, if you see there is this uh, uh, mentioned list. And if we click on list, there are all of these network objects that can be, that can be chosen. So for example, I have uh, clicked on list and then I move to network. And inside here, I can see nodes, links, link types, and all of these main network objects that we can list down. Okay, so this is a uh, this is for this part of the video. If you are also interested on how we can add new links and we can insert new network objects, please check out the next part. Thanks a lot.